the Zero mobile app. We're going to just show you using a demo company and I specifically want to show you how to enter in a receipt or a bill to pay um, using your phone. So this is really handy if uh, you're on the road and you've yeah got a receipt and you've jumped in the car, just take a quick photo and upload it um, directly to Xero. Uh, so this is your dashboard on mobile. So you just want to go to the plus symbol in the top right and you can do two things. You can either do add bill or add receipt. Now add bill uh, will, when you add a bill, it'll automatically filter through to the bills to pay within your Xero account. Um, and you can also reconcile it from the dashboard um, from that bill as well. That would be the way I would recommend doing it. Um, I'm gonna show you both ways though. So add a receipt will just enable you to reconcile it from the dashboard without having a, like a physical bill within your Xero account. Um, so both of these ways work, like look exactly the same when you're doing them. It's just how it um, imports it through to Xero. So let's do add bill. And we want to say who it's from. In this case, it is Bunnings. So we add a new contact. What was it for? It was for plants. And we bought um, two weeks ago. So you categorize it to an account. In this case, it's for the office. Uh, let's check if there's GST. And yes, there's GST on expenses. And then we'll just type the amount in as per what the receipt says. And then to attach a file, we'll go take photo. You can just leave region blank and then click save. So because it's a bill, we'll go approve. And then because that's approved, you will automatically be able to reconcile it from the dashboard. All right, so have a look in here and we should be able to, obviously it's not going to match up, but what we can do is grab one of these, click on the three dots, go find and match. And then you can see Bunnings Warehouse is in there. Now, obviously it won't go green because it doesn't match, but if it did, um, that would obviously go green. And if you go to purchases, you should be able to see it um, waiting to pay in your purchases, which in the desktop version is uh, your bills to pay. Okay, so let's go back to the dashboard, back to the start, and then we'll go plus, and then add receipt, which like I said before, looks exactly the same as add bill. But in this case, we have to select how we paid. So um, you've got two options here. Now you do want to mark it as uh, paid from whatever account you paid it from. Even if it's if it's cash, uh, you would normally just transfer the money out um, to yourself if it was your personal cash or some people might have a petty cash account set up, that kind of thing. Um, I won't go into it too much because it can get a bit complicated, but... Um, you know, nine times out of 10, it's going to be a credit card or a debit card that you've paid for. So you just want to select the account that that card relates to. Um, so we'll just click a business bank account for this one. And then we go, um, it was plants for the office. So we're going to do office expenses, leave the region blank. 
total including tax you could obviously change this to gst free expenses if it's you know something that doesn't have gst so just make sure of that um $99.05 again and then like before we will take a photo and then you can go add now same as before um, if we go into the business bank account and we want to see if it's there we might see two this time now because we have the receipt added in yeah and then the so the bank transaction and the bill so the bank transaction is the one where we did add a receipt Right now, I'm just going to go into a few more details. Um, so let's just go add bill. This will be the same for add receipt as well. Uh, so I just want to go through the optional details here. So obviously, um, I have I added the receipt in as one whole receipt, even though there were four items on it. So you can be lazy and just add in the whole receipt with one like one amount in this case they were all plants so that's that should be fine to do that unless your organization has a policy where you, you need to list out every single plant um, so let's say you're going to get some uh, supplies for the office kitchen and you've got milk mixed in with cleaning supplies, you're obviously going to want to split it up because uh, some of it is staff amenities for milk for making coffees and then some of it is cloths and wipes for cleaning. So you want to go split into items and quantities. Item description might be dish cloths. Categorised to account would be cleaning. GST on expenses, there was one. Obviously, if you bought more than one, you would you would say whatever quantity you bought. And let's say it was $8.50. And you can keep doing that. So we can go add another item. This time it's for milk. Categorised to account, which is staff amenities. Oh, we don't have staff amenities. So let's just go office expenses. GST free expenses for milk. One bottle of milk at $5. And then add another. And you can just keep going um, until we're finished. Let's just do another one and finish this off. options to delete the item so then yeah once you finish you just go uh, back and then you can see all your items here um, with the total amount and then the total amount should match the receipt um, when you take a photo of the receipt and of course fill in who it was from the uh, today's date and usually today's for, for this kind of thing usually the date of the invoice is the date that you paid it so those those two usually match up the same and then you would click save so that's pretty much it for using the zero mobile app uh, for adding in receipts or bills to pay uh, if you found this video helpful please like it for me and subscribe to our channel